where what it, what you are is basically a shift of what you learn, or what you see, or what you hear. Extremely important. But what you learn, what you see, or what you practice fundamentally. Even the bloom stuck succession which is actually argued as uh, probably the best method of disseminating information in universities, is premised on under that ideology that the more you you know you repeat something, the more you regurgitate something, the more you'll probably comprehend and get there. You know, that's why in, uh, in, in, in intellectualism, especially at uh, university level, they argue in terms of what they call pedagogy as opposed to ontological. Uh, pedagogy means that you, you learn something by saying it and by teaching another to think outside the box and throw the box away, as opposed to parrot education. So the kind of education that we have in Africa has been this kind of parrot education because we thrive on ideologies that are pre premised by certain individuals in England. And we think that's the standard of right and wrong. Who said that? I think it's way back. Africa has to learn to discover itself. Africa, by the way, in ancient Africa, we, is there those who argue that civilization began in Africa. But what happened to it? You know, where, what happened to that? If you go in terms of Africanism and try to appreciate the terms of what Africa has actually contributed to this nation, you'll understand that most of the things, even in terms of invention, the first medical doctors, the people who first spent it, uh, you know, the, black, the first cars, all that ideology comes into what Africa was before. We had the Asian cities, we had universities, we had the richest man on earth was actually Africa, Mansa Musa, all those aspects. So it's time that Africans should awake rather than be subjugated into those, you know, arenas or dusty bins of, 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 of complacency, you know, rather than, so that my, my instigation to every African is to rediscover themselves in terms of saying, listen, I have the potential, I believe in myself. I believe in what Dr. King used to say, that the time is going to come when people are not going to be measured by the color of their skins, but by the content of their character. I believe that. I believe in what Prof. Waldo Emerson said in 1871. If a man can build a better house or make a better mouse than his neighbor, even if he builds his house in the woods, the world will make a bit and back to his door. That's the kind of ideology I believe. I believe, my brother, you can do it. You can be the next president of this country. All you need to do is believe, believe in yourself, keep working, and never give up. Amen. Yes. Okay. Um, the other one.